With Monday's deadline now behind us, it's possible that up to 81 different people and entities related to Trump may have submitted any and all pertinent, last-minute documents in their possession to the House Judiciary Committee as part of its investigation into Donald Trump. I am encouraged by the responses we have received since sending these initial letters two weeks ago. It is my hope that we will receive cooperation from the remainder of the list and will be working to find an appropriate accommodation with any individual who may be reluctant to cooperate with our investigation, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler said in a release. And although very few names have been disclosed by the committee, at least one in particular was on Monday night, and it's one that carries a lot of weight. In an appearance on The Rachel Maddow Show, Nadler shared that Steve Bannon's name is in the fold, and apparently, he has submitted several thousand documents to the committee. Considering Bannon was once in charge of the Donald Trump campaign and also played a key role in the Donald Trump White House, this is rather huge news. Additionally, since the committee let it be known, that its requests to round up documents was solely to collect those which have already been requested by other investigators, Bannon's submission tells us that special counsel Robert Mueller must have requested and likely possesses the same thousands of documents. In other words, if there was ever any question as to whether or not Bannon was capable of selling Donald Trump out, I believe we may now have our answer. And from the sounds of it, he may have done it twofold.